Backbone of a strong democracy is the right to vote, and this week Governor Ralph Northam signed into law a new Voting Rights Act protecting every Virginian in the Commonwealth. Alex Littlehales explains what this could mean the next time you head out the vote. We learned last year that even a pandemic cannot stop the right to vote. And Virginia recorded record turnout in both voter registration and total number of votes cast in the November general election. Nearly 4.5 million votes cast and more than half of them coming from absentee voting. As of Wednesday, every Virginian is now protected under a new Virginia Voting Rights Act signed into law by Governor Ralph Northam. The act of voting is freedom. It's power, and that's why it's been weaponized against us since the franchise of voting began. Newport News delegate Marcia Price championed the House version of the bill, providing new state-level protections against voter suppression. It strengthens the office of Virginia Attorney General Mark Herring to ensure elections moving forward are fair and equitable. Give our office express authority to go in and, and protect people's voting rights. Now here's some of the changes that the bill brings. It ensures that changes made to local voting regulations go through a period of public comment. It allows the attorney general and individual voters to actually initiate court if they feel that their voting rights have been violated. Plus, it establishes a voter education and outreach fund. Practice uh, or you know, some, uh, something else infringes on somebody's voting rights. It gives us clear authority to go in and go to court to protect that person's um, ability to vote. It also requires voting materials to be provided in foreign languages as needed. These provisions go into effect September of this year. In Norfolk, Alex Littlehales, 13 News Now. This comes weeks after Governor Northam restored the voting rights of nearly 70,000 formerly incarcerated Virginians. It could be the political debate of our time, voter suppression versus voter integrity. Today on Capitol Hill, the Democrat-controlled House Administration Subcommittee on Elections held a hearing about ensuring free and fair access to elections. The meeting came after Georgia and other states enacted new laws to restrict who can vote and how following former President Trump's loss in November. The elections of last year showed us, showed us that when barriers are removed and voters are given options for when and how to cast their ballot, participation in our democratic process increases. And that increased participation does not compromise the integrity of our elections. In fact, it actually bolsters integrity. Committee Republicans said they just want to make sure only people who are legally eligible to vote cast ballots. 